what is going on guys this is kdk welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to take a look at the crt blast raspberry pi 4 image dual screen from the dynamic dual team so uh, they've done an impressive job on this build uh, this build does come with two front ends you do have an emulation station and you also have a track mode as well so for clarification purposes what you guys are currently looking at on my screen is obviously the my Elgato capture card running the CRT blast image and on the top middle of the screen that is a bona fide LCD 14.9 screen marquee that I got from Amazon actually I got this one from uh, Newegg a few weeks ago so uh, this is a dedicated 14 by 9 screen uh, typically some of the other videos you guys may have seen out there in the past uh, they are running two monitors, so I wanted to ha actually have a true marquee dedicated for this. Uh, I will be doing a two-part video. Obviously, we have this CRT Blast uh, RetroPie image made for the Pi 4, which runs dedicated only on an SD card. And in the next video, I will be doing a comparison with this uh, particular build and image and comparing it to Supreme Ultra for the next image. So uh, with Supreme Ultra, that's actually why I got the 14.9 image. Let's go ahead and get into this review and I really hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so here we are on the emulation station front end, and I know the Dynamic Duo team, when they do builds or images, uh, is pretty much made more or less for a track mode. So uh, we're gonna kind of go through some of these. Obviously, I will show you guys a track mode. I'm gonna reboot this. But one of the things I wanted to introduce you guys to is how the uh, marquee script works. So when the game loads or the system loads, you get a, um, a uh, PNG image which will show dedicated on your marquee um, for the most part you should be able to change that yourselves so you can pick whatever picture you want so with the dynamic uh, dynamic duo team and the CRT blast image they went with a retro pie uh, picture there in the middle of the screen and so uh, let's go ahead and select the system and I want to show you guys a little bit uh, how it works so I'm gonna go ahead and start a game and just to touch bases on the game, I did kind of scroll through some of the some of these games on here. I do know that they do have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the two-player version, and the four-player version, as well as The Simpsons, two-player and four-player version. But I was a little disappointed as a per personal preference. I love to have uh, all the games loaded for the uh, X-Men game. Uh, as you guys know, X-Men has two, four, and six. So I was just disappointed that all those versions weren't on here. Uh, there's nothing really major at all. That's just a personal preference of mine. So these are some of the games that you guys will find included. So let's go ahead and start up a game. We're going to go ahead and select X-Men. And when you select the game, you will get a PNG image that is dedicated specifically to the system. So in this case, you will get a Pac-Man screen with X-Men and arcade classics uh, there right there in the middle. And I'm not going to do much gameplay. I'm just going to back right on out just so you guys can get a better idea of how the script works. So let's go ahead and back out. And let's go ahead and pick a different game just so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. Now I am noticing that what they also did was they do have photos dedicated for each game. So as you guys look there in the middle on the right hand side, you do see WrestleFest. So that's not typically standard uh, with a marquee set. So that's another good job by the Dynamic Duo team is that they did make dedicated photos specifically for each game uh, as I see here as it's appearing here on the screen. And we're just gonna take a look really quick. I'll play this here just for a few moments. Okay, it looks like it kind of froze up there, but I had to back out. Let me try one more time. So one of the things that's really good about having the marquee image is that you guys can customize it and uh, you don't have to use any adapters. So I do believe when the marquee script first came out, you, do, you did have to use a, uh, a different adapter 
uh, going between the units. I do know this one guy. Uh, special shout out to uh, Eric. Uh, there's a guy in the RetroPie community. He got me hooked up, <coughs> excuse me, or turned me on uh, to the idea of getting the 14.9 um, marquee. I already had my eye on it some time ago, but uh, you know, he did kind of mention it and I saw his videos and it looked really nice. And I know on his, he was using two Raspberry Pi 3B pluses. He honestly had the system and then on the second unit was uh, dedicated for the marquee. So uh, it looks really nice. So with, just to let you guys know with this, you don't have to use two Raspberry Pis. You, are, you will have the script entirely built in. So that's uh, another plus there. All right, so let's go ahead and back out of this. And as you guys can see, the marquee at the top changed again. So let's go ahead and pick another system. And we're gonna start up the Atari 7800. And as I start up, you will see the marquee uh, change there in the middle. It says Atari uh, 7600, I'm sorry, it's Atari 7800 with uh, Centipede. All right, let's try a different game. I just wanted to show you guys that. Now I know a lot of the people have had problems and I've had problems myself where the screen turns green. Uh, and just to let you guys know that I had that issue earlier uh, with a lot of the games in, uh, prior to the loading screen, the uh, screen would turn green. However, it's not doing it now and that's probably because I'm using a smaller screen. I do know that when usually when I do a lot of my tests, I'm using either two monitors or I'm using two 65 inch TVs. But uh, maybe that's the issue with that green screen that t people have been uh, mentioning uh, has, I have also talked about, but maybe because I'm using a 14.9 LCD, which requires a little bit less in power, uh, maybe that's preventing it from doing it. So that's a good thing or maybe a good troubleshoot tip to know. Um, if any of you guys have maybe noticed that, uh, let me know or leave a comment in the description. But uh, typically when I was playing this earlier and I was not using either another marquee or using a bigger TV, I did have a little green flash go across my loading screen and sometimes that would appear in the game. But apparently that's not actually happening now, happening now so that's actually uh, another good thing. So uh, maybe there are some additional issues with that that can be troubleshooted by some simple measures. But other than that, uh, everything is running smoothly and everything is running really great. Uh, another thing that I am noticing, I know you guys can't really see it on your screen, um, but uh, currently uh, the LCD, not the LCD screen, I'm sorry, but the photo that the Dynamic Duo team used, um, for those of you guys watching at home, if you've been watching other videos, people are using other TVs. And so the reason why I went out to also get this 14.9 marquee is to make sure that when I build my own personal image that is formatted correctly. So looking at the monitor, it's actually off probably by another inch or two on each side. So as you guys are seeing that, uh, screen uh, the LCD screen the photos that are there they're not taking up the full 14.9 image uh, that is something that it is capable of doing so uh, hopefully that could be addressed maybe with another image or quite possibly with another update <coughs> excuse me but uh, that is something to you can definitely do and just make sure you have the right dimensions and it will take up the full marquee all right so let's go ahead and back out here so let's go ahead and take a look at a track mode, which is really what this uh, dynamic duo, uh, dynamic duo team is really good at. So let's see how they took care of the front end there for uh, a track mode, and uh, just give me your thoughts. So let's go ahead and switch over really quick. We're gonna go to options, and before you do this, uh, when you set up your controls in Emulation Station, uh, make sure you obviously, of course, set up your controls, and you want to go to this option here at the top, a track mode, auto configure. A track mode and what this will do is it will automatically import your emulation station controls over to a track mode now if you don't do that you will have to use your mouse and keyboard or your keyboard preferably to go in and set everything up but it, since it already logs it directly into or boots directly into emulation station all you have to do is go ahead and set up your controllers and then go to this top option which is already highlighted and then you can switch over to a track mode and it'll import your settings over already. So let's go ahead and do that.
Now, one of the other things about this particular image is that it is not SSD ready. As you guys have been watching a lot of my other videos that have been uh, EPROMed, um, as you can see, it's gonna boot up just a little bit differently. And uh, it did take me, I think it took me about a good two hours today to burn this image. I don't know why. Obviously I'm using a Samsung Evo 128 gig card. I don't know if it's because I've been using that card quite frequently, but uh, it did take a little while to burn that image today. And so typically if I was using an SSD, it would only take about a minute and 37 seconds instead of an hour or two to fully burn the image. And then of course you would also get faster boot times and everything like that. But for this video again, yes, I am using a standard SD card uh, for this particular image. So uh, we have arcade here, we have consoles, handhelds, we have collections. Let's take a look at the collections here. NBA Jam, Pac-Man, Pinball. You guys know the rest. This is something that's typical, as you guys would normally find with any set here. They got two games in there for The Simpsons. Let's see how many Sonic games we have in here. So it looks like we got about four or five different Sonic games, okay? And then we have, uh, let's see, several Spider-Man games. It takes a lot of work and time to go through and uh, select the games. Now, the only one I can tell from the uh, looking at it really quick is the Spider-Man arcade game is missing uh, from that set. Maybe that was an oversight. I don't even know if it's on here. I have to double check. And then you have some 3D games on here that are running pretty well. So they do have a number of Tekken games and also Virtual Fighter as well. And all those games run pretty well as to, uh, 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 good too. So and Then you have your collections of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then you have your set of X-Men. So let's go ahead and get out of here. In fact, let's just actually go back in. I want to see beat em ups really quickly. Okay. We got a nice set of uh, beat em ups there. And let's go over here. In fact, let's get out of collections really quick. Let's go to see what's in favorites. And I don't have anything in favorites. Okay, they left that empty. <coughs> now, personally, when I make mines, I like to put in favorites. You know, what. It, I personally love and then of course people can edit them from there but I like to start people off by uh, recommending some top games and then we have Capcom classics now I'm gonna go ahead and select a couple of these because I want to see if the marquee actually changes okay so uh, they've done a good job with this by customizing the marquee for each game um, as you can see there at the top, it says uh, Arcade Classics 1943. So that 1943 is something that they've, uh, or actually not so much 1943, but the title of the game is something that they would actually went in and customized to do. So typically by default, you would normally select a picture uh, for uh, each marquee. And you can just make, if you want to keep it simple, you can just make a generic picture. So they wanted to add that extra little touch, and I really appreciate that as well. All right, so let's take a quick look at Aliens vs. Predator. Now this is one of my favorite arcade games and if you guys aren't sure or didn't know, uh, this is a two player and three player game. So in order to make it three players, you do have to go into your uh, settings, into the uh, dip settings and change it. And with Aliens vs. Predator, typically with this type of system, you can hit uh, hotkey and X, and then you can go down to, uh, I'm not actually gonna do it because you need two controllers, I only need one plugged in. So you have to activate uh, the dip switch setting, so then you can turn it on. 
and then usually there's another setting that you have to add or activate to go to it i'm not going to mess with it too much here because you do have to have two controllers to activate the third person but uh, just keep that in mind again i do have a video referencing that where you can go in and change the settings all right so let's go ahead and back out here uh, we're going to take a look at some of the options uh, obviously you guys are familiar with the games if you guys have been around in the retro pie community or gaming community for any length of time you already know what the games can do so uh, let's take a look at this i haven't seen this one before we have something here called favorites utility so uh what does this say it says a track mode favorites display utility this utility will provide a quick way to add or remove tagged favorite games from the favorites display as well as remove all tagged games from the systems uh, as you can peri peri periodically tag new games as a favorite rerun the script to keep the ROM list for the favorites display updated do you want to proceed uh, I'm gonna click no um, also too, another thing that I am noticing is that as you guys just obviously can see my menu is a little shifted over to the left and again, I am using a 14.9 display marquee, a dedicated marquee. This didn't happen, or that didn't happen while I was using two TVs uh, viewing it. Everything was perfectly centered, but again, I'm also not getting the green screen effect either that most people have typically had commented about. And I've actually seen that myself earlier today. Just uh, So maybe that is a quick fix. So uh, you got your Raspberry Pi config, you have your uh, reboot you also have your retro art menu there uh, you also have retro art net play you have your retro pie setup so honestly there's not a lot of different setups uh, in here um, typically with uh, let's take a look you know we're not gonna go through any of that uh, am themes we have audio settings we got bluetooth settings config uh, you have a display utility so let's click on this one i haven't seen what this one can really do and as you guys can see, my menu is shifted to the far left for whatever apparent reason. Uh, and I can barely see it from here. Let's see, this utility will provide a quick way to adjust what system displays are shown on either the main traditional menu or the nested category menu systems shown under the category menus. Use this utility to hide or show displays with a track mode. Okay. So you know what, let's click on this. I wanna see what it says here. Edit menu system options, hide display, show display, edit uh, nested system menu option. I'm not gonna mess with any of that just for the sake of this video. So uh, let's go ahead and move on here. And uh, we got consoles, we have our Ataris. Obviously this is just a different menu layout from emulation station. So you guys are already familiar with the track mode. So you got your Sega Genesis. So let's click on this one because I haven't seen this system yet. And we got X-Men 2. And you'll see the marquee will change there at the top of the screen. So um, it's kind of a pity that, um, I mean, you know, that the marquee isn't, you know, fully taking up the screen like it should. It should be another two inches uh, bigger. Uh, I know you guys can't really tell because of how I have it kind of cropped out. On my screen but I can show you that it is uh, fully uh, not taking up the full screen here so uh, that's just something that just really draws my attention all right so let's go ahead and back out here and I will give you guys one more game and then give you guys my final thoughts so let's take a look here. Let's pull up. Let's pull up a PlayStation game. Let's see if Fantastic Four is in here. I know that's a game most people don't normally have. Ah, uh, Future Cop LAPD. It definitely brings back memories. Yeah, let's go ahead and play Future Cop LAPD. Okay, so uh, this marquee doesn't look like this game is loaded on the marquee on the PNG. So. It just has a generic PlayStation. Okay. So not all of them have it. Uh, Future Cop is actually a pretty good game. You can actually uh, play against the computer in a, um, a territory 
it's called Warzone, so they do have a territory style. And then, of course, you also have co-op. It's two players as well. But all in all, I do think that the CRT Blast image is pretty decent. Um, obviously, there are some games I personally wish that was there. But for everybody else, I think you guys would really love it. Uh, this is one of the rare uh, Retro Pi, Pi 4 images, rather, that does have a track mode. I think there's probably maybe two, maybe three builds out there with the track mode fully loaded. As far as I know, this is the second uh, bill that has had the dual display uh, with the marquee the other one was obviously the supreme ultra and then of course we have the uh, ultra i'm sorry not ultra but we have the crt blast image it all runs great um, i wish the uh there was a, a quick fix for that green screen that people have uh, mentioned and that i've also experienced if you choose not to use the marquee but all in all it's really a great image if you guys are really going to like it Make sure you guys like this video, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. If you guys have any questions, I'll do my best to try to get back to you. And um, I will be doing a second part of this video comparing the two so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Now it's gonna be difficult because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use two of my gaming monitors for each one or hook up one of these to a gaming monitor and then hook up another one to uh, another of the pies to the um, 14.9 uh, marquee so maybe i'll do that as a quick reference so you guys can see uh how it should be properly formatted and um i'll just give you guys my thoughts and then we'll just do a quick comparison have some fun and uh hope you guys enjoy it so again this is uh keel dyken check me out on patreon www.patreon.com uh, backslash keel dyken also check me out on my personal facebook page i'm on there as well as well as instagram even though i'm i'm there but i'm not really there so uh, those are the best ways to check me out. And then, of course, also check me out on Twitter as well. Again, guys, I got some other new videos for you. You guys have a good night. Talk to you later. Hope you enjoy.